What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a magic review of Scramble from Vinny Sagu and Neo Magic. I know you're probably wondering, what in the hell is Scramble? Well, we've got you covered. This is a self-working magic trick, which is loosely based around Scrabble, and it is made up on wooden pieces with numbers on them, along with some playing card pips. What essentially happens is that the spectator takes all the tiles, mixes them up with the, the collection of tiles, and then that leads them down to narrowing the tiles down to one remaining option, which can be revealed to the spectator. You first start by showing the spectators a red velvet bag, which holds all of the pieces in, and advise that there's um, a number of tiles in the bag, and they all have a unique combination of numbers and card suits, and the spectator is going to be doing something magical with them. You then let the spectator take control of the magic and shuffle up the tiles and drop them onto the table. Once they do this, all of the face down tiles are removed and you'll eventually end up with one left, well two if you use the pip, and once this happens then you can reveal that you knew that this was going to happen and reveal the prediction on the back of the bag. So how much does this cost? This is available on the Neo Magic website for $19.99 and you can also buy some additional prediction tiles for a discounted price of £5 too or $4.99. So you can have more than one reveal available when performing this trick if needed. With using this magic trick, there is a bunch of ways that this trick can be performed and used. But here's a full performance of this which features a kicker reveal with a deck of cards too. So we're going to do a trick, we've got a deck of cards here which we'll come to later and we've got some Scrabble pieces. Um, we've got the, the four pips of the cards, so I want you to select two of those. Right, so we'll eliminate those, so I can move them off to the side. Okay. And you've got two more left, I want you to pick one of them. Okay, so we'll eliminate this one. So we've got a club. Yeah. yeah? So we've got these pieces here. What I want you to do is throw them on the table. Yeah? Yeah. So we're going to look here. Then all of the face up ones. Yeah. We're going to leave, we're going to eliminate all the face down oh, ones. Oh, anything that's facing down. Yeah. Yeah, so move them out to the side, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And again, pick up the remaining pieces and let's throw it again. And the plan is, we should be thrown so many times that we'll be left with just one. Just one picture. Yeah. And what we're doing? So the face down ones, we eliminate them. Eliminating them face down. Oh dear, that wasn't the best one, was it really? <laughs> it may take a couple of times till we get to the last two or three and then obviously we'll dwindle it down Face there. down away. Yep, face down ones get rid of. Oh, uh, yep. Oh, we're getting there, we're only on four left. <laughs> oh, that was a rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. Rubbish. Uh-huh. Yep, uh, face down, down on. Away, yep. yep. It's so hard, they're not like dice, they don't roll. <laughs> I was playing some game where I needed this to happen, it definitely wouldn't have happened, would I? There we oh, go. Right, so okay. Then we're two face down, yeah. so we're left with this one here. The three of clubs. Three of clubs, yeah. So out of all of them, that's what we've managed to get down. Yeah. Now we say about this deck of cards here. Yeah. It's been here the whole time, it's not yes. been touched. Now in here, there's a whole bunch of cards. There's one card which is actually turned the other way. Do you want to take it out and see what it is? <laughs> it's a three clubs. And I also knew that. So if you see here on the pouch, there's a three, there's a club. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it could be any of them, but then obviously on the back I've got a big three of clubs. You can't, you can't do it if you want, if you want to help me, so you just need to put your yeah. drink down. So what we've got here is we've got Scrabble, and we've got all these tiles, as you can tell, yeah? Like, like Scrabble tiles. Yep. And I'm just going to take some of these out of the way, so I'm going to take that one, that one, that one out of the way. And these are the suits, and we've got left with the uh, the values. So these are going to bounce all over the place, and you can you can do this if you want, uh, and just grab them, and then just, just throw them onto the table when you get a second. And all the ones that are face down like this, I'm just going to remove them, okay? Yep. And what we're going to do is try and find if we can make a playing card. So do you want to try it again? Do you want all to... right, okay. So does, that, does that make sense? Yes, yeah? so jumble them all together, chuck yeah, it down. Yeah, and chuck them down. Oh, and we've got oh. a few more that are missing here. And we've got, we got a few left. So we're almost close to a, a new card. Ready? Oh, Ooh. almost fell. Oh, there we go. So you've got that one, you've got two left. Oh, and... Again, one's got to be upside what? down. Oh, there we go. There we done go. It. So we've got a three. Yeah. So that's going to be for... And now we're going to make a suit for the card as well, yeah? Yeah. So I'm going to give you these, so just do that. Same thing. 
Oh, oh, that one's still up. That, oh, they're all still up. Oh, that's that's quite lucky. I don't think. What's he trying to? Oh, so you got two, and you got two left. So we've got the three. Oh, so the kids can do this. It's quite yeah. fun as well. Oh, and you got rid of that one. So you got the three of clubs. Yeah. Which is a random choice. Is that fair? Yeah, random. Yeah. Over here on this bag, look, I've got the three of clubs there. Can you see it? Yeah. I actually had predicted it. But not on the face, actually on the back. And now you've got the three of clubs, which is on the back. <laughs> if you buy Scramble, what is it and what do you get with it? Firstly, you get 17 wooden tiles inside of the red velvet bag. And this is then kept inside a plastic pouch featuring two pieces of card slash paper with them. One of them has a scramble logo on the front and also a bonus routine on the back, which features a nice little maths routine with a prediction. The other piece of paper features the instructions and shows the bag and tiles in images too. There's also a QR code to search to reach the Neo Magic website with the video video demo to show you how the trick can be formed and an explanation video. Explanation video is 2 minutes and 12 seconds long, but as the trick is easy to perform, a minimal video is all that's needed. As mentioned just now, this trick is very easy to perform as technically you don't even need to do anything at all with this trick other than hand the tiles to the spectator and explain what they need to do. It's very simple to do and perform. As a result of this, it can be performed pretty much anywhere at all. Ideally, you need a flat surface for somewhere to throw the tiles, but you can always just use the floor if needed. When it comes to if the spectator can inspect it, there's a yes and a no. Most of the trick can be inspected, but there's certain parts which cannot be inspected at all. I suppose if Vinny created the reveal as sort of a duplicate to be included with the trick, which could then be swapped out for the gimmicks once the reveal has been done, then the trick could be 100% fully inspectable to the spectator. Is it well made? Yes it is. I love that the trick comes with its own bag for the reveal as that means that you can have somewhere to hold all of your tiles in the bag as well to carry them around and this is going to help not lose them or have them damaged. Of course with them being made of wood if a spectator is rough then they could potentially snap but I don't see that happening unless someone was doing it intentional with doing that. The markings are done well on the tiles too and are easily readable. So what positives are there with this? I think that the fact it's self-working and super easy to perform means that anyone can perform it at all. And those who perform magic regularly can actually concentrate on delivering the experience rather than trying to focus on doing the performance and doing the magic and the maneuvers and stuff like that because you don't need to do any. Just do a long storyline and that's it. Again, the bag that holds it all together comes in as good quality so it'll last a long time too and as it's quite small for the overall trick it doesn't take up much pocket space at all which is fantastic to have on you as a minimal magic setup or an EDC. Let's talk about negatives. I can't really see much at all to be negative about. Nitpicking you could see as the tiles of wood they might snap or get broken over time but if you take care of them they'll be fine and I suppose you need to make sure that the surface you put these on is dry too because the tiles will get wet and potentially ruin them due to the wood but that's a dramatic negative, I think. At the price that this magic trick is marketed at and how it packs small and plays very big and is very easy to perform, I think it's a bit of a no-brainer to buy, really. Um, as per usual with Vinny, most of his stuff is super easy to perform and is sometimes self-working too, like this one, which makes it perfect for beginners as well. I do have some other reviews of Vinny's tricks coming on the channel, such as the latest release, which is called Spin, which you can see. So if you click the video on the screen, you'll be taken to that video and there's other tricks to be done in the future as well. So until next time, see ya.